everyone it's Wendy and welcome back to my YouTube channel today I'm continuing with my ATCs and this will be number 18 so what I wanted to do today is something a little bit different again um, recently I did some little embellishments on scrapbook or on scrap watercolor paper which was left over from cutting these out um, just using a couple of stamps so I just grab one of my stamps now I'm just using um, the archival ink from Ranger. I've had this many, many years and it's just been absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to put these down and they may go over the edges. Now I'm not worried about too much detail because I'm going to come over with colour. missing that one edge here and there and we'll take off just that little bit of paint there as well or ink come in over the top One thing I will start using, I think, a little bit more this year is all of my stamps that I have. I'm not quite sure how many I've got, but yeah, might be a few. So just wiping that off. So I thought about using my watercolours again. However, um, I got the this um, is concentrated watercolor, um, sea green color. So it's a gorgeous green. I got this a couple of months ago through the Two Sisters art sampler, and it's been quite lovely to use. Just looking for a little container to put this in. Use back of this. So this is quite concentrated. It's the first time when I got this from Tanya, it was the first time I've actually used a concentrated watercolour. So I've got a couple of different colours off that. So I am going to just add a bit of water to that. You see there, it is quite dark. So this will just be wet on dry but we'll come over and add a few splodgy marks to in make it a little bit more intense in some areas I don't think I'll color it all in just leave a few gaps here and there Now this is going to be just a quick, simple one, however I am going to still add a little bit more um, as I did the one earlier today that was for number 17, we're back on track with this one as day 18, that I'm in a bit of a gold mood today. So I'm just going to dry this off, you can see there that still works well there as a watercolour, it's just nice vibrant colours, really enjoy that. It's very similar to some of the um, inks that I have, 
Okay, so I'm just going to pause for a moment and dry and then we'll come back and add a bit of gold. Okay, so I'm going to try it with my gold watercolour. So I'm just going to make this so it is very creamy. I'm determined to use every little bit of this. Now I will be, I'm just waiting on a couple of more deliveries. Um, this, this is um, the Gensi 10B watercolours and I have loved using these. However, there are a couple of different ones on the markets these days that offer a similar sort of gold range from their blue golds, red golds, yellow, white, um, etc. So I've ordered a couple of different types or brands and I'm just going to do a comparison to actually give a rundown on just a general product review to see which one is still the best. Is this the best one? Because I've always loved this one. Or you know, are the other ones that are a little bit cheaper um, just as good? So I don't know how this will work, but we'll just see. I might just have to dab a little bit off. bit of a smudge. I'm just going to do a test run to start with. Okay. What I do is put a little bit of this in here. defined there but I just like that hint just wash all of this out okay I'm just going to add blotches on my brush it's still still a good amount of gold there just going in roughly the last one a bit messy today sometimes I like a good mess except the ones that the kids leave Just a few little gold swatches. Here and there. Okay, so I'm just going to dry this and we'll come back and add a little bit more detail. Okay, so that's that nice and dried there. I do think I want... Just got my... Um, just the big brush. From the pit pens. I'm just going to do just a slight edge. I'm hoping that this will just make the gold pop just a little bit more. So it's just right on the, the very edge of that card. Just like that. Now yeah, I'm just going to add another Ooh, 
Void. Voids from the Tim Holtz collection again. And I think this should be every day. Make today count. You may notice me, I really don't put things totally on centre. So even though this is towards the centre of the page, I always either like it off to the left or the off to the right rather than totally in the centre. So there you can just see there's just little flicks of gold coming through. And just that green, love that green. Okay, so thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you back again tomorrow.